most common questions I also get is, you know, did we take steroids? Because now, of course, drugs is such a big issue in sports. And the, the, the answer is yes. Uh, it was just in the beginning stage because bodybuilders in those days just experimented with it. But it was not illegal. It was like it was, uh, we talked about it very openly. I mean, anyone that was asked, is you take steroids? Say, yeah, I take three day anabol a day. Or someone else would say, I would take this, 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 and that. It was not an illegal thing. Now, uh, after it became a big problem, then our federation said, okay, bodybuilders ought not to take steroids and there will be testing done, uh, surprise testing done. You could be called at any given time. And within two days, you have to do a test. So you can't get rid of the, the whole thing out of your system or anything like that. So that's what's going on right now. The bodybuilders are tested continuously. Well, the full term is androgenic anabolic steroid. Androgenic means male hormone-like, anabolic means to build, and steroid is a class of drugs that these are. These are derivatives of cholesterol. Your body has male hormones in it, derivatives of testosterone. And these drugs are manufactured synthetically, and we use them in medicine for people who have certain types of anemias or different types of diseases. The athletes, unfortunately, use these hormone drugs in order to enhance their growth of muscle, their ability to retain weight, nitrogen, and all these different elements that they retain. I have to be quite truthful with you. I only use anabolic. I'm not going to have to deny it because uh, all, all the other Mr. Olympia contender, I feel that they are using it, and I only use it for the, the fact to reverse catabolic effect, you know? I don't use steroids to be a monster because I don't think monsters win. There's no way of stopping anyone from doing any action that they wish to do. It's just like a diabetic who likes to sneak chocolate cake. They shouldn't eat the chocolate cake, but they're going to do it anyway, but you'll still take care of them to try and manage their diabetes. What I try and do is pick up the health problems in the athletes early enough before it becomes a fatal or a chronic serious injury. Uh, I'm in the gym, and I've been in the gym for 12 years, and I've seen young kids or people that don't even look like anything, you know, they start taking steroids. And they're taking dosages that, you know, a champion bodybuilder would never even take. And they still don't look like anything. So if you feel that steroids are going to make you a champion, they're not. It's sad to say that it's gotten out of proportion now. You know, it was something before that it was almost like a, a click that only bodybuilders knew about. And now everybody knows about steroids. And now steroids are becoming almost like cocaine. It's coming that bad. You see, the guys that make it to the Mr. Olympia are already genetic superior beings to begin with. That's why they've made it this far. The people who get hurt the worst are the young kids coming up who aren't so genetically superior because they're going to take five times as much as these guys to try and get anywhere near where these guys are. And that's the patient population that would be most severely damaged overall. I said it before and I say it again. If you eliminate, eliminate anabolic steroids from all the athletes at one time, the champion will remain the champion. You know, and I really think um, we better off without them, honestly. There's one athlete, uh, Paul Jean Gillian, who is just in a recent pro contest, and he's in the top 10 or 15 in the world. And after a recent competition, he wanted to be tested. He came to me, I didn't go to him. And I tested him the next day, right after the competition, and he was negative. He also won the world championships where he was tested. So there are these genetic freaks, so to speak, or these superior genetic specimens that will gradually come to surface. I put a bet that I take a drug test anytime. If I flunk it, I give anybody $10,000. I give them $100,000 if they want to. It's just I won't flunk the test because I never take drugs. People keep saying, well, you come off of it. I didn't come off no drug for the universe. I have never taken drugs. I competed a meal away for since 1980. I think the main thing about natural bodybuilding is you have to train all the time. You can't take two, three months off and then try to come back. You have to eat good all the time and it's become like a self-discipline. You gotta really want it. I'm not looking to risk my health for, you know, glory. You know, I, the bodybuilding is supposed to be an athlete sport. It's supposed to be very healthy, low, low blood pressure, not high blood pressure. The guy have high blood pressure, they're losing their hair. You know, they look, oh, I'm 28. I'll be 28 September 17, and I don't look 28. I got guys that my age look older. And you know, I, to me, I appreciate what I do. The drugs do work. Um, that was a mistake the medical community made in that they said that the drugs do not enhance performance. The athletes knew they enhanced performance, so now when we tell them, well, the drugs will also hurt you, they say, well, you lied to us about this part. Why should we believe you about this part now? Uh, the drugs do make a difference, whether it's 2% or 5% or whatever. There is a definitive advantage. However, 
they don't get to keep the advantage. For instance, an athlete takes these, he might shoot up quick, but it'll come down quick also, where an athlete that trains naturally will come up slower, go even beyond where the other athlete, and then stay at this high level for a longer period of time and begin a gradual decline. These athletes will burn out much earlier. When the bodybuilders of yesteryear did take steroids, they didn't take them in the massive dosages that the bodybuilders today are taking. You know, steroids are just a finishing touch for the bodybuilder, and the thing is, more is not better. So that's the, that's the thing on steroids. It's not the steroids that make a champion, but it's the hard training, the dedication, the dieting, the sacrifice, and the genetics that that person has what makes that champion. Drugs is ungefähr so viel, here, that's, that's so what viel, is. Uh -huh. and that is Arbeit, harte Arbeit. Schwere, harte Arbeit, hard work, very hard work, and this is only drugs. If you asked me four years ago, I didn't think we'd ever get a handle on this program, and now we have a very firm handle on it. I think we're going to continue to increase the number of drug-tested competitions, and if we can get bodybuilding to become an Olympic sport, it'll open up all new avenues for the sport financially as well as socially, and I think we'll eventually get our drug testing up to the top levels. But it's going to take a lot of work, a lot of time, and a lot of money.